Good morning, growers. Today it's budworm. If you get caterpillars, there's um, a couple ways you can uh, prevent this. First one is bird netting. Uh, if you put bird netting up around your plants on some poles or on your hoop house, it will uh, keep those butterflies. It's from the white cabbage butterfly. It kind of looks like this. Okay? The white cabbage butterfly female lays eggs on your plant. Um, after they hatch and start to become little caterpillars, is right about time your plant is flowering and they crawl into your bubs, uh, buds and burrow in and make a mess. So if you are tired of picking them off or losing bud over this, I got a couple ways you can do it without putting chemicals on your plant. First is bird netting. And like I say, I'm going to use this background. This is, uh, I think it's quarter inch. You don't want to go any bigger or any smaller. Um, too big, the butterflies just seem to go right through this netting. And in any smaller, like the mosquito netting, it's too tight and it puts a shadow on your plants. So I wouldn't want to do that. Um, like I said, the caterpillars or the worms come from this white cabbage butterfly. What we're going to do is make decoys. Now this is uh, made out of a uh, plastic lid. Uh, it makes it waterproof. Females have two black dots. So what happens is you put this decoy just above your plant, different locations. Another female flies by, sees a female on that plant, says, uh-oh, not enough food for my babies, and flies on. So we're trying to just trick them. You can attach it with, uh, I use this garden string wire, garden wire. You can tape it on bottom of it or super, you know, super glue, hot glue gun, however you want to do it. But it's pretty simple. Get you, uh, you just attach this, maybe attach this to your uh, plant. And it'll also, it will move around in the wind and uh, look more natural. Um, this is a great way to do it. Uh, like I say, it'll, uh, I, last year I did a um, netting and decoys. I had zero um, worms on my plants. The other test one, I did not put any decoys or netting, and I end up getting about 13. I usually get about 20, 25 of, uh, a uh, plant. I come out at night. I used to come out at night um, and get a flashlight and a little jug and then pick them off and drop them in. They come out at night. So if you want to get rid of it, this is a good way to do it. You can also uh, come to our Facebook group, Growers Helping Growers. There are lots of other ways to handle things. Um, come on over and uh, join us. Thank you and have a great day. Happy growing.